What's going on guys, Balkan Architect here and I'm really excited to present to you my new Revit template creation. So in this course, this is going to be one of my advanced Balkan Architect courses that is going to be over an hour long. Well, it is over an hour long and it's up on my Patreon, first link in the description. So this course is going to be covering some of the elements that you need to know about creating a Revit template in project that you can use if you are a Revit manager in some uh, Revit firm or firm that uses Revit, or maybe if you're just doing some sort of projects with your friends or something so or colleagues so you want to organize everything and create some templates that everybody can use and everybody can organize neatly so here as you can see i am in revit and i'm going to be showing you how to set up all of the levels how to set up units and how to correctly set up all of the units and how to go through the uh, project units dialog and set up everything correctly and all of the options that you have for this after that, we're going to be moving on and creating all of the necessary views and I go in depth into view creation and everything you need to know. Also, then we go into organizing our project browser. This is the interesting part. So here, as you can see, my project browser doesn't look like the regular project browser. I've got some architecture views and then they're all sorted like this. And then I have some structure views and they are sorted like this. So you can actually kind of sort things out and create new uh, layouts in your or new project browser kind of layouts, sub menus, stuff like that. So that that's what I show you. So you can kind of organize yourself better in this project browser in Revit. Let me just collapse all of these menus. Then I go and I explain all of the families. How can you add new families, delete some of the families? How can you prepare your, uh, your Revit template? So it includes only the families that you're going to be absolutely needing to use and all of the other ones you can load in separately. The problem is if you have too many families loaded in, the family template and then the project itself is going to be too heavy of a file and it's going to be harder to work with. It slows down your computer. So you want to have the optimum families that you're going to be using. And also I show you how to change some of the families. So here I've changed these uh, cut lines here for the cut marks for the stairs. So they're like a nice straight line that actually looks good. After that, I show you how to do the uh, all of the view template settings. So if you go for any view, you can set up a view template. So here, uh, if I scroll down a bit here under identity data, I have this view template. And as you can see, it's called Balkan Architect template. Also, I created this Balkan Architect structure template that you can use for when you create a new view, you just use this template and then it's just going to uh, basically do all of the view settings and all of the settings that you've created on that template. It's going to apply to a new view. So for example, here, uh, if I maybe extend this wall a bit, and if I add a window on the wall, you're going to notice that window appears great. That's because that's something that we've changed directly inside of the template. So if I create a new view and apply that template, all of the windows in that view are going to be gray like this over here. Also, I show you how to create texts and how to edit all of the text. So when you place text in your project, it looks like this and you set it up and you personalize it. Also, I show you how to modify text in other places like here. Uh, I have the schedule and as you can see, I've changed it from the regular like boring schedule uh, text to a nice century Gothic font that I have over here. Moving back, I also show you how to create this new dimension style and how to set up all of the text and all of the settings for dimensions. Okay, so that concludes uh, this uh, part one for my uh, Revit family templates course. And if people like it, I'm going to do uh, more parts where I show you some of the other advanced settings for these uh, family templates that you can create in Revit and then use for any other project after that. So you have all of the settings already set up when you get started with modeling and then you can just get into the model immediately.
Okay, so that's pretty much it. If you want to download uh, or if you want to watch this whole uh, Revit course, it's one hour course, uh, check out the first link in the description. You will get access both to this course as well as all of the other courses I've done. I've done 10 so far plus this one. They're all over one hour long. And also you will get access to all of the ones that I do in the future. So I'm doing one course each week. Also, if you just want to download all of my families, all of my project files, as well as this uh, Revit project template. Again, that will be on my Patreon. It's a bit cheaper if you just want to get access to all of the project files. Okay, so that's pretty much it for uh, this kind of an intro to my uh, Revit uh, templates course. Uh, be sure to check it out. Okay, that's pretty much it, and I'll see you with a regular tutorial in a couple of days. Bye.